the lobby of this 50-story hotel all fell apart and a bunch of people got hurt. And the engineering mistake they made was so simple, even I understand what went wrong. July 1981. There's this huge dance going on down on the lobby floor, like over a thousand people dancing inside an amazing new hotel that had these balconies that would suspend from rods from the ceiling. Specifically designed to impress. Almost looked like those balconies were just floating there in space. Floors two, three, and four would zip across the giant lobby connecting the conference center on one side to the hotel tower on the other. Floor three went straight across. Two and four were kind of double-decker, sharing the same rods coming down from the ceiling. And that was what went wrong. People heard a crack and then a pop and then floors four and two, those balconies psh, just fell down to the ground. When it crashed at the bottom, it was so loud. People dining all the way up there at the top of the restaurant said it sounded like an explosion. The entire disaster came down to one tiny design change. So the original plan had our two balconies suspended by like one giant bolt and then they'd screw a nut up to kind of hold it. So both balconies are anchored to the same bolt. But the problem you run into with that is where do you find a bolt that's like four stories tall, right? And when you do try to install it, the contractor has to come in and screw that bolt, that nut on the bolt, round, around, 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 and then do it again for the blower floor. That's a lot of work. So they proposed a change to the design at the last minute. Construction would be a lot easier if we could just anchor the fourth floor directly to the roof with something much shorter. And then anchor the second floor to the fourth floor. This looks like it would work, but the problem is this is not the same as this. It'd be kind of like if you and I wanted to climb this wall, so somebody tosses a long rope down to us, I start shimmying up, you follow after me, I'm hanging onto the rope carrying my weight, you're hanging onto the same rope carrying your weight. But the design change wasn't that. The design change changes it where it's one short rope where I'm carrying my weight, then you grab onto my feet, so now I'm carrying my weight and your weight. That doesn't work. And that's why it all fell apart and people got hurt. It's been a long time since 1981 and inside it doesn't look anything at all like it used to. The hotel's owner spent $5 million rebuilding the lobby. Now just the second floor crosses sitting on sturdy columns underneath. I sort of have a dyslexia thing for numbers so I knew to avoid being an accountant and avoid being a structural design engineer. But those of you who are good at this, remember to always have somebody check your work because you never know if one tiny little mistake could have huge consequences.